We all know the urgency of retrofitting homes that are badly insulated, both to protect the climate, uh, to uh, lift the financial burden being imposed on families from uh, rising energy costs. Um, but uh, as usual with Fine Fáil, Fine Gael, and sadly, most sadly with uh, the Greens, uh, the way the scheme is designed, uh, once again, it is a scheme where the suffering of the poor will subsidise uh, the improvements in the lifestyles of the rich. That's what's actually going to happen. Uh, now, what do I mean by that? You see, the financing for all of this is dependent on regressive taxes being imposed on people who are absolutely crucified at the moment with uh, the rising energy costs. So, 2020, we collected 494 million in carbon tax. Uh, I think it was an additional 148 million as a result of the increases uh, in 2021 uh, or in that realm. And as Breed Smith found out this week, uh, we raised 481 million in VAT on energy last year, right? So we're now up over a billion euro in regressive forms of tax that disproportionately hit the least well off. And the government is going to give us next year 267 million, a fraction of that for retrofit, but the people who'll be most able to access it are rich people who can afford uh, to make up the gap between the maximum amount for retrofit, 25,000, and the actual cost of a deep re retrofit, 50,000 or more, in many cases, in reality. Okay? So it is literally, it's the reverse of Robin Hood. The working people subsidise a grant scheme that will mostly benefit the better off, and which they will not be able to uh, access. And the idea that the just transition uh, to a better climate future is about impoverishing even more the poor uh, and the least well off is frankly sickening. Uh, but that is actually what's going on. Uh, and uh, it, if anything is going to turn people away from the climate agenda, that is, it's that sort of policy uh, that will do it. I can't help but comment as well, just given that we're talking about energy as well, on the sort of mantra that's been used by the government to justify uh, the increase in energy costs that's going on at the moment. It's all to do with the international market. Uh, we have no control over it. Well, you do have control over carbon tax. You do have control over VAT. You do have control over PSO levies, and that's why our energy uh, costs are 15 to 20% higher than the rest of Europe. That is your fault. But here's something else that hasn't been injected into that debate. Most of our gas comes from Carib. It doesn't come from international, it comes from Carib, but a private company owned it because the state gave it away. Uh, most of our electricity on many days, up to 85% of our electricity, comes from wind produced on land in this country. All of these prices, though, are charged at international market prices. And this is just an important reminder of something we've said very often, that even if we develop privately, for profit, loads of renewable energy, uh, alternative energy sources, not going to make a damn whit of difference to ordinary people in terms of the cost of energies that, that they, are, uh, they are actually being crucified with at the moment, unless it's under uh, public control. So obviously, what we need to do uh, is uh, uh, retrofit people's homes with the funds being uh, raised not by crucifying the least well-off uh, and subsidising the well-off, but in fact putting that investment into retrofitting the homes, social housing, the homes of tenants, the homes of the least well-off, and actually providing grants and supports where uh, that is genuinely, uh, genuinely affordable. And that could easily be uh, done uh, by actually taxing some of the profits made by the energy companies in this, in this country. Thank you. Deputy Smith.